Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. Today's map is a fun little romp through Gronder Field in the rematch versus the other two houses. This time everyone is on their own team. Kinda weird we weren't the first time, but whatever. This map has the potential to be the easiest one so far, aside from the prologue and auxiliary battles. The goal is to rout the enemy, but most of the fighting will happen at the bottom of the map, with or without you. You can just wait it out and clean up the remaining units when all the major fighting is done. They even put enough enemies between you and the major clash to make sure that you still have enough to get the reward at the end. They do try to disincentivize this by giving each house stat buffs when they kill enough units, but there will only be a few units left over after the fight whichever side is victorious, so you can just overwhelm them pretty easily. It amounts to nothing, really. But most people aren't gonna do that. They will play out the map normally because they love getting all that EXP. Plus, it's pretty fun. Being in the scramble while not always being the top priority target is an interesting change of pace for this game. It lets you play around with the threat lines, trying to manipulate the enemy's movement. You're using divine pulse charges to carefully pick off enemies for the best results. It's more interesting than it is challenging, but it's definitely unique and feels more in line with what this game offers. I like it. It's just sad because this section is the best part and the rest of the map is kind of boring. The big structure in the center looks cool, it seems like it would be the area to hole up in and take on both sides at once, using the ballistas as assistance. But not a lot of enemies show up after you've laid claim to it. The battle just kind of happens below the structure. Its purpose seems kind of weird to me honestly. The rest of the map is big and open and is only occupied by a few units. Pretty boring. I wish they could have rearranged the map so that it was more close quarters and everyone on each side was involved in the big battle or maybe they split it up into sections on each team like uh, pairs of five or whatever go head to head from each house. I don't know. I get why the map is so big and open because of story reasons. They're trying to recreate a historical battle. But it doesn't make up for the fact that most of the map is really boring. The map is designed poorly, but the concept is fun, and I did have fun while playing it, so does that make it worth it? Kinda not really. I'm trying to lean my ratings towards the design aspects, not just how much fun was had. Which I mean, for this map, fun wasn't even had the whole time. So 3 out of 10.